welcome back i haven't posted much as you guys know it's been kind of slow on the videos but i got a couple big projects coming up so uh i'm taking the truck to get caged um i'm gonna take it over to my boy omar the twin belt he's gonna take care of it i just stripped the whole interior for, for him i actually did the interior already i'm gonna just do the dashboard and get a little footage of that uh he's gonna take um the 10 point chrome molly i bought and get it situated in here hopefully it looks decent looks good he did my hot side he did my um my exhaust on the truck truck looks really good real clean work so i trust the guy take it back to him um we'll post a little bit more here and there maybe when we take it over there and then while he's doing it get a little footage too uh, and then once it's there he don't know this but might just scoot it over to the next uh bay and uh have my boy gabe do the holly i'm finally gonna do a new harness on it uh, the old harness is just it's a bitch it's fucking been worked on pinched here replaced there so it's, it's been giving us issues not sure what what it is or whatnot you know but we're gonna go with something new uh hopefully cleans it up a lot but i'll give you guys posted i'll give you a little video of the dash removal i've seen a couple videos and eh, could be easy could go south so see how it goes all right guys so like i said i went off video i got my seven mil my 10 mil my extension my ratchet and just to make things a little quicker my milwaukee um, like I said, I ain't no mechanics. So we're gonna see how, how long it takes me to get this thing out. So on a little side note, I bought this truck 12 years ago from uh, the original owner's son. Um, out of Mesa, I think. It's about 12 years ago or so. And what I thought was cool that I found, I don't know what this is called. It's like a, like a window sticker or something. So, you know, pretty cool. It's a 2000 LS, you know, 5.3, the LT, Peter Metallic, medium gray interior. And then it tells you the original price, you know, the upgrades, like the Vortec 5.3, automatic four speed. Um, and then they included the locking differential axle. So, you know, it was a nice little upgraded. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, luckily, the last two guys I sold it to left it in here. So, that's pretty cool. I thought that was a pretty cool side note I go in there. And I think that's why the truck's a little more sentimental to me than anything. Because I've, you know, sold it a couple times and luckily I bought it back. So, that's why it's my money a money pit you know it's like it's all right for me to waste money on it i know i'm not gonna sell it again you know so why not <laughs> try to keep track of your bolts because I don't know how much of this dash is coming back in there, but I'm trying to put it all back. Maybe just the interior, gut it out, but I'm trying to keep all my bolts because I'm going to take it off. I don't know if I'm going to be able to put it back on. I'm that kind of guy. So, all right. I think we're down to a couple bolts. And we should be almost ready to pull it out. Gotta take the steering wheel out because it won't cover it. Gotta take this off too. I'm gonna break it. <sighs> almost, almost. And there it is. Like an hour later. Had to take the steering wheel. 
all these little fucking plugs. But it's finally out. All right, there's a skin, and then the other top skin. Now we gotta just take out the the main support. Take those bolts off. Take the ones at the end. Make sure it's not connected to the steering column. I don't know, man. I'm kind of starting to regret this a little, but a little too far to go back now. So we're all in it now. Let's get it. You know that moment where you know everything sounds good in your head. Stop fucking shit up, breaking shit. It's like hell yeah, let's get this shit done, right? And halfway through, you're kind of thinking about it twice, like. Fuck, you know? But then you're like, nah, you gotta keep going. And then, again, it hits you. But you're a little too far into it. That's where I'm at. Taking a little break. But there's no going back now. We're gonna get this shit caged. Y a ver como queda, pero... Ahí estamos, mira. Que su pinche madre. Me tocó un ratito medio, medio como a la verga, la estás cagando, güey. Y luego como que se me pasó. And I kept going, you know? And then I don't know where I was like, fuck, dog, there's no going back no more. I ain't putting this shit back together, you know? But what you gotta do to get a fucking heater for out? You got some shit? There's no going back now, my boy. Definitely not going back now. It's too late for that shit. Alright, there it is. Fully stripped. Now I'll just put the shell back on. Cover those holes. Call it a day. I made up my mind, took off the AC box. It's gonna be straight race truck. So we'll see how it goes. Alright guys, so that the day has come. Friday, I loaded the truck last night, took it to work, I got out of work, and I'm on my way to drop it off. I did forget to take the rear window off. Uh, I didn't forget. Um, we just didn't have time to do it. Um, worst case, I'll take it off over there, you know, blade it off, spatula it off, and it doesn't have to be nice. So we'll just take it off, make it work. And then I don't know what I'm gonna put on later, maybe a flex, plexiglass or something like that. So we'll see what Omar says. We'll go from that. Uh, post videos of it getting worked on here soon. I'll probably start a new video. So keep keep you guys posted.